Okay, so now we're going to do some guided practice with our homographs. So remember, homographs are words that are spelled and written the same way, but they are not pronounced the same way. So for this activity, I'm going to read you a sentence, and then you are going to have to choose what would be the correct definition for the word that is underlined in the sentence. So what does the word mean? Which word are we trying to say? Um, so for this activity, I want you to get out a piece of paper and a pencil, and I will read the sentence to you and then give you some time to choose what would be the correct definition of the word in the sentence, and then we'll go over it together. So for our first sentence, it says, don't forget to close and lock the door. So for this sentence, would close mean to shut or to be near? because we know it could be close or close. So what would that mean in this sentence? Okay, so for this example, you should have picked letter A, which means to shut. Don't forget to close and lock the door. So let's do another example. We have, after the dance recital, everyone took a bow. So, would bow mean a hair accessory? Or B, to bend at the waist? Remember, we could say bow or bow. So, what would be the correct um, definition for this sentence? So for this sentence, we would choose letter B, to bend at the waist. This would be pronounced bow. Um, after the dance recital, everyone took a bow. So our final example says, the principal will address the students at the pep rally. So in this case, we have address or address, depending on what the correct definition would be. So A says where someone lives, or B to speak to a large group or to another person. The principal will address the students at the pep rally. Okay, so for this example, you should have picked letter B which means to speak because it says in the sentence, the principal will address or speak thus to the students at the pep rally.